Okay, uh, Kaito? Oh, that's not what I wanted, fuck! A lot of different weapons here. Maki knows how to handle all these? Maybe. Kaito! Yo! Leave this to you again, do a good job, okay? Uh, okay. I don't mind, but... You don't mind, but what? No. Let's just... Uh, we were talking about Maki, it looked really upset. Yeah, well, yeah. I can't believe she's an assassin. Well, that's... I can't believe either. She doesn't seem like she could do something terrifying. Be some terrifying assassin. I can believe it, especially since we've had two female murderers so far. And she got to Kokichi real quick. And she has a murder blood room, so... Her door is murder blood red, so yeah. <laughs> so she just straight out lied to us when she said she was a child caregiver? Where did that excuse come from? I'd like that to be explained. Why child caregiver? Uh, it doesn't really fit her character. Anyways. Terrifi- terrifying, huh? Don't worry about it. Either way, leave Maki to me. I'll take down that mask of hers. Uh, do your best. For now, though. Boom, 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 boom. Coins, 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 I think that might be all the coins. If that's all the coins, what is there to examine? Firearms. Blank case. I can't examine this? Are you kidding me? This is what I'm most curious about. The red assassin thing. Really? That's stupid. That's what I'm examining more than anything. Oh, we got weapon shelf, weapon shelf. Monitor. Just more weapon shelf. That's it, it seems. All kinds of weapon shelf. Can't examine this. That's bull tards. Blank case. What's this? There are three blank cases lined up. Do they all have weapons inside? Uh, you're not even gonna check? Man, this room's boring. It's a freaking ultimate assassin's room, and it's boring as hell. Ugh. Also, if these are real weapons, you just made things really easy for potential killers, Monokuma. Slash Cubs. Slash Dam. Is Dam in charge? I guess Dam's in charge. Slammed in awe at the sheer number of guns lined up. They can't be real. No, of course they aren't real. They're airsoft guns. Oh. Really? Well. Of course, Monokuma would give us real weapons. Oh yeah, that would make murder too easy, right? Yeah. Uh, then again, in the first ever killing game, I guess back when Junko was rusty, they did have real weapons. Um, Caesar must Caesar must be strong, but if we were to revolt with real guns, Monokuma would never allow that. Ellipses. These weapons were real, and if Kurumi were here, what? If Kurumi were here, what? Stop feeling bad for her, goddammit! She's not that sympathetic! Might have taken us all out in order to escape. Oh! Okay, that's not... Yes, let's go with that one. She might have... Yeah. For her people. Fuck her people. Sonya also had a country to worry about, but you didn't see her being a crazy bitch shape bitch bitch. Granted, she didn't really do much in Danger of 2 at all. She just kind of said, I am a princess! And I can't die because I am a princess. I remember that in her free time. I remember thinking that was cocky. But, um, and she didn't die. But, um, but she didn't kill anyone, so that makes her better than, uh, Karumi. Which is pretty odd to say. Because I remember when I was ranking all the characters in my head, all the characters from Danganronpa 1 and 2, um, Sony actually wound up surprisingly low on the list after I was thinking about it. Um, but I'd say Kurumi's lower now. Yeah, surprising how quickly my opinion of her changed. Anyways, I think that's everything. God, this room is boring. Why can't I examine this thing? Ah! Wait, no. Is, it, is, is this a Monokuma hiding in there? It's white. It's white. No. Okay. Alright, I might end it here. I wanted to do a quick start, and I did a start, and I saw what the beginning was, but this might be the place to end it. Um, oh, Anji, what's up? Yay! If a new area opens up, that means more fun for everyone. Atua and I will cooperate so everyone can have a super fun school life. Cause Atua is watching over us. Atua sees everything, even what everyone truly desires. Huh? Everyone truly desires? Maybe. That's right, Atua is always watching over me. How divine! That's a two for you, he's so divine. Ellipses. I feel like Anji uh, is getting more and more creepy. 
She's already converted Himiko. Who's next? Ugh. Um. Oh, even though this is a dead end, we might be able to use the key on this. Is that right? It seems to be a thing. I'll try that before I end the session, I guess. Gonja. Um. What's wrong, Gonja? Oh. Sorry, Gonja think he, uh, TC bug. Uh, um. Also, those letters. We never got to act those letters. I guess those are still un, uh, unsolved. Anyways, you said that before. Is it a bug that you can barely see? Mm. Yeah, Gonja feel like you can see it sometimes. What does that mean? Like the golden snitch? Gonja can barely see it. It's probably a mistake. Gonja. Gonja wish there were bugs here, so Gonja just mistakes dust for them. <laughs> Is it really, is that really the case? Would Gonta actually make that mistake more than once? Allow Gonta. More than once, as if you think he would make it once. Anyway, if you find dangerous area, come get Gonta. Gonta will protect you. Sure. Thanks, Gonta. No, he means well, but I'm hesitant to ask him to be a shield. Yeah, he might be a little too dangerous of a shield. Alright, so what's up with you guys? Some movie. I'm pretty sure at the rate things are going. I think you have a decent chance of living to the end. But... If not, I'm predicting you to be the victim of case three. Sure, uh, assuming there's only one murder and one victim, which, I mean, I could assume otherwise, but let's not bother with that. I'm assuming the next victim will be Samugi. I think that's pretty likely, and the killer has to be a guy. They're not gonna do three girls in a row. Um, that would keep the generated show pretty even, though. If the killer has to be a guy, um, I don't think it's going to be Kaito at this point, um, because it, it just wouldn't fit. It really wouldn't. Um, yeah, and this is when we get to the girl section. So, I think, God, do I have to say Karekio? He just seems like the kind of guy who would kill eventually. Or Kibo. It really all comes down to what the motive is going to be. If someone isn't secretly crazy, which generally in these games, somebody is secretly kind of crazy, but I, I don't know. It's hard to say. I guess you could say Karomi was secretly crazy, but she forgot that she was secretly crazy. I don't know. Um, I don't think it's going to be Kokichi. And, uh, yeah, so I don't think it's, I don't think it's going to be going to, I guess I could see him going there, but I don't think they would. So I hate to be a broken record, but... I think, uh, this likes air conditioning. Um, I think Karekio is going to be the killer, and I think um, Samugi is most likely victim at this point. Uh, it just seems pretty likely. Now, I could, I don't think they'd kill Maki at this point. Uh, they've built her up to be pretty important. It seems like she might be the third, um, the third lace, as it were. You know how there's always three important characters, like, you know, the big three in each game so far? Uh, it seemed like that might be Kurumi, but then she gone died. So, it, it's looking like it might be Maki. It might be uh, Shuichi, Kaido, and Maki. Um, and I could see that. And she'd be like, you know, it'd be kind of a twist on the normal, because normally the guy, the other guy is normally the one who's kind of a jerk face. Byaki was a jerk face, Nagito was a jerk face. And now we'd have Maki, who isn't so far a jerk face, but she's an assassin. And I think that automatically qualifies you as at least a little bit of a jerk face. So that might be the, th the three-man team for this game, um, as it were. That said, in Danger Number 2, two members of the three-man team died in the fifth case. But, hey. Um, still, that's what it's seeming like, I think. I got one of your shards, damn it. Genuine maid who takes every word as an order. She makes wonderful tea and her abilities are endless. Too endless. So endless that I knew she had to die sooner or later because she was too good. I called it and I'm so mad that I called it. Damn it. Damn it, I knew it. Uh, that's originally why I, I remember. That's why I socially with her originally uh, back when I was playing as Kayade. It, it wasn't because I really liked her. It was because I kind of liked her, but I thought she would die really early. So I wanted to get a social link with her done as quickly as I could just to be safe in case he did die early, but then once she got to the point of dying, it, it was at the point where I was starting to really like her, so it was like, bah, and now I don't like her anymore. Anyways, what? 
Correct, yeah, let's talk. Are you gonna kill Sumugi? Uh, I don't know. That's just my prediction at the moment. Humanity is beautiful. Every part of every human being, their ugly sides is beautiful. There's no limit to beauty. Kurumi, she too had her own exceptional beauty. Excellent. A crime that was bold yet calculated a battle against the truth. Brutally killing others for her beliefs, unfle unfeeling sacrifice for the few of the many. Yeah. The few for the many. Yeah. Wonderful. Her attachments to life and determination to live. Her attempt to escape is so very ugly, it was pathetic, pitiful, wretched. And you're happy as you say that. It was beautiful. I'd never before seen such beauty in a human be being before. <laughs> I can respect that. Also, uh, this is the creepiest I think you've ever been. With those eyes open like that, looking down on me. You're looking down on me, you fuck. Stop being a fuck. Ellipses. I have no idea what Kia was talking about. I get it. In my own way, I also have Kurumi's last moments burned in my mind. As do I. They were delicious. Anyways, um... That said... Okay, let's humor myself. Let's say there's a double murder again. I don't think there will be, but if, if, if they decide to be repetitive in that sense... Uh, assuming there's a double murder, I still think the killer's gonna be a girl. So... Or no, the killer's gonna be a guy. Apologies. Um... Which I would think would be... Probably correct, yo. Other than that, Kibo, I don't think... I think for the next case, it would, they'd go to one of these two. As the killer. Um, for Kibo, some very specific stuff would have to happen. I don't think it'll be going to... I could see... Anyways, let's just say Kurekyo for now. Let's not second guess myself. For the victims, um, I don't think they're going to kill Maki. Uh, if it's a double murder, and let's say it's two females that get murdered, um, I could see... Hmm... You see, now I have to weigh who I like versus who I think will die. Um, hmm, depends on, I really, I'm wondering how far they want to go with Anji. Like, would they take her all the way? The God-loving person? Would they take that super seriously? Or would she die in vain? I would have said I could have seen Anji as a killer, like a religious nut, as it were. Also, she has a hammer in her hand. Like, the gold hammer? But... Two women have already been killers, so I'm pretty sure the next person to be a killer will definitely be a guy, at the very least. So... I mean, I'd like it if Tanko died. I, I wouldn't say I'd like it if Tanko died, but... I'd like it more than anyone else dying if she died. So... But I don't want to say that I think she'll die. I could see Himiko being the victim. Um... Just based on... Stuff. If... If we have to go two, I'd say... Possibly Sumugi and Himiko. And then Tenko and Anji would be all like, No, I like her more. Or something. I could see that being a thing. Maybe. That's my guess for now. If there's one victim, it'd be Sumugi. If there's two, Sumugi and Himiko. Anyways. Um, can I do this? Apparently I can. It looked like a dead end, but... Not so dead anymore. Hmm. Door collapsed. Looks like we can get to the back now. Hmm. Yes, I wonder. Yes, what I wonder is beyond here. Perhaps someone awaits us. Someone? Huh? Like an extra student? Like a uh, transfer student? <laughs> Merely a jest. This world is full of jests. Such as, you know, uh, Kokichi's jests. He jests all the time. World full of jests. I suppose that's true. So, wait a second. Alright, don't, don't force me! Staircase, we can get to the fourth floor now! Oh, we've never been to the fourth floor. Interesting. Uh... I wonder what the upper floors are like. There's nothing dangerous, right? Has there been anything dangerous so far? I don't think so, so why would you assume automatically? Or is there... It's okay. Don't worry, go into will protect you no matter what. Thank you. Thanks, Gato, that's reassuring. Tuxedo and a mask would suit you. Is this Sailor Mood now? <laughs> um... Tuxedo is essential for gentlemen, but mask too? Well... Uh, such as Tuxedo Mask? <laughs> Complicated name. I should go. Okay, but not automatically, so... There's nothing around here, it's just the next floor. Alright, I'll bite. What do we got? I wonder what the hammer's used for. <laughs> Anyways, what do we got? 
Ugh. I'm guessing Carecchio is going to have his room here. Fighting atmosphere was so oppressive, I let out a shout without realizing it. Uh, um... What is going on in here? Oh, you can hear the fanny so much more! Actually... So much more fanny pack. Um, this is a made-up story, but a brutal murder supposedly took place here. Usually you say that it's a made-up story at the end of the story. Stop it! If I hear any scary stories, I won't be able to go to the bathroom alone! Giggity? Um... Oh, but she say it made up story, so I mean it okay, right? Uh, Dang and Rope is a made up story, but that doesn't mean when they murder my favorite characters, it's okay. So long, farewell. Well, that was quick and dirty. Uh, nothing back here. Very dark atmosphere. What's up with you, Samugi? Hey. So I'm just checking, but this is a school, right? Yeah, I'll say this. So far, Smoogie has been very much um, a background character. She's been very much a, uh, what is it, um, a quirk character. A lot of her character has been a quirk. There hasn't been much depth to her so far, which is why I think it's very possible she could just be another victim coming up. Um, now, I haven't social linked with her, but there have been other characters like, you know, Anji and Himiko and Tenko that feel like they've been having real, you know, things build up. You know, that as an overarching story, as it were, whereas Samugi, not so much. Now, what she has going for her is that she shares a voice actor with um, Sayaka. And Sayaka got killed off right away in Danganronpa 1 and did not get to voice in any class trial, which gives her a bit more of an edge, if that makes sense. It also, you know, in a way, gives Kokichi a bit of a danger of dying early because Fuyuhiko made it all the way. But anyways... Um, it also gives Kaito a danger, because, uh, soda cans also made it all the way. But anyways, um, yeah. Uh, okay. At least that's what Monokuma said. He said it was a school. Um. Spirit, Paradise, and Beauty. This definitely seems like Karekio's place. This floor doesn't seem very schooly at all, though, does it? No. I'm not sure what you mean by that. Actually. I mean, this floor's atmosphere is completely different. Like, it's a whole other building. Making a building like this would have taken a lot of money and work. And all the research labs are amazing. How much money was put into this school? All of the money in the entire world. Which might not even be Earth, because we could be on a different planet after we escaped the space because meteor struck. It was all built just for us. You're right. I did mention that the labs were so we could develop our talent. You research your talent, perfect it. That's kind of like a school, isn't it? Research your talent, perfect it, and use it to kill someone. It can't be. And Monokuma really wants this to be a school where ultimates gather? Yes. I mean, and maybe maybe secretly he wants us to overcome the bullshit. Maybe maybe he's the first time a Monokuma has been like a greater good type purpose. Uh. Hmm. And yet at this... Well, is it really greater good though if his plan ultimately fails and he takes the light in it? I mean, uh, how would that conversation go if we end the game where... Like, you know, ten of us are dead or something. And he's like, but you six are splendid! I mean, yeah, we lost over half of us, but now you guys can go save the world! Or something stupid. But anyways, um, I don't think they're gonna do that. They haven't uh, done that yet, but uh, anyways. At the same time, they're trapping us here and making us kill each other. I guess. Doesn't make sense. We were brought here and then forced to do the killing game. Uh... I don't understand it at all. My plain mind has... Also, my, my limit of planes has sort of hit its limit. Stop saying plane. Part of me hopes you die for that reason, so I can stop that stupid running joke. What on earth is this Academy for Gifted Juveniles? I mean, part of it is in the name. Juveniles. No, no, has no one, no one's even mentioned the fact that juvenile means that you're, do you not know what the word juvenile means? God damn it. Don't you? Um. This area feels spooky. Don't you scare too? <laughs> It's okay, the murder story was just made up. Mm. Not just story. Go to just have a weird feeling. Maybe stain on the wall over there is blood? No. It's just a saying. It's probably just staged, you know? Huh? Staged? Staged? Um. Monokuma or the Monica has probably just put it there to scare us. Huh? Really? So the script has been flipped, huh? Uh, um. Smoogie, does this kind of stuff bother you? Oh, yeah, that's right. She is into the. I mean, she's into anime. I don't know if she's into. Just, well, uh, is she into scary stories in general? No, she's not. She's, she, like, hates scary stories. I don't know. Um, staged. Disdain. Oh, like a fake murder. I see what you're saying. The script has been flipped? 
What does that mean? That has me suspicious. So does the inner monologue from a couple days back when he said, I didn't know how bad it would be to be betrayed, and that still hasn't come to pass? I will not forget that game. I will not forget that. You better not fucking drop that shit. Anyways. Uh... It's not that I'm okay with it. It's just that when it's so overdone like this, it makes it seem fake. So I feel okay. Actually. But Yamta, you were so reliable until just now. It's too early for you to wear a tuxedo and mask. Huh? Eh? Oh no, we're tuxedo essential for gentlemen. Ellipses. Are you wearing a tuxedo right now? <laughs> uh, I'm surprised you know the word tuxedo. Well, I guess if you're an aspiring gentleman. So, there's a few ways to go here. Jeez, um, this looks like a dead end, so let's see this one first. So there's no... Okay. Oh, there's a door at the end here too. I'll leave that for last. Let's do these doors first. Left room? 